Um, I'm excited to tell you about a ministry that is carried out through Forest Lake Presbyterian Church currently, but that is really the gift and the calling or the vocation of one of Forest Lake Presbyterian Church's members, Phyllis Melvin, who began years ago on her own to carry out a ministry that she felt God had called her to, and that was to help feed hungry people right here in Columbia. She felt that the Lord had called her years ago to do something specific and concrete for hungry people in Columbia. So she began to collect dimes and to give them to Harvest Hope Food Bank uh, in order to help feed the hungry. And um, But one of the ministries here at Forest Lake said, we can help. This is such a good and uh, simple and concrete way to do good in our own community. We can help. So they adopted Phyllis's vocation, Phyllis's Amen. calling of Dimes for Hunger. And so each year in February at Forest Lake Presbyterian Church, we have out piggy banks and jars, and we invite and encourage everybody to come and to put their loose change. We tell them we accept dollar bills as well. Um, and Phyllis adds that to the collection that she takes all over Columbia. Wherever she goes, Phyllis is collecting dimes for Harvest Hope. But I'm grateful that Forest Lake joined Phyllis in her vocation, in her, in her calling, in her sense of wanting to do something specific to help the hungry as a member of Forest Lake Presbyterian Church. I'm grateful that we could join her in that and help press along. Now, what did I leave out? Lots. Yes. My name is Phyllis Melvin. I'm also known as the Dimes Lady. It began when uh, I had many skin cancers and my eye doctor said, time to have the cataract removed. And I went, Ugh. So I'm walking from the bed to the couch and back and forth, and I thought, dear God, please give me a mission. I've always volunteered, I've always done things, please give me a mission. That night, I saw a man on TV, and he had a table in front of him with three jaws on it, and he said, if every woman in America took and put a dime a day in each of these three jaws, she could be a millionaire in no time. And I thought, well, I can't do three, but I can do one. And I've been doing it, um, well, naturally before April 27th, I had to collect dimes. But I was not alone in my effort. My then six-year-old grandson said, Grandma, why are you saving your dimes? I said, to feed hungry people. He went into his bedroom and gave me 26 cents to help. So he was my first donor, my first contributor, and he's also my poster boy. But he looks different now than he did then. <laughs> he's 12 years old. <laughs> how much have you, to date, in general round figures, how much have you given to Harvest Hope Food Bank as uh, a part of the Dimes program? Upwards of $8,000 and 10 cents. It all began with 10 cents. That's right. The current toll has a 10 cent on it. I think that's fairly uh, symbolic. People give me checks. Um, some people from this church give me checks, friends give me checks. And when they do that, I ask them that they make it out to Harvest Hope, send it to me or give it to me, and I will make sure that dimes is written in the memo. All the money sent goes to Harvest Hope. It's just Phyllis keeps up with what uh, she has asked and collected. So that that's the smaller total within everything else. I mention it to everyone, and sometimes people are generous and, and giving. If they don't, so many people encourage me. And after all, this is God's project. That's why it's successful. It comes from Him. Phyllis keeps me updated. She'll call regularly and leave me a message to say, Well, now the total is $6,426. <laughs> so every, every time she calls, she'll leave me a message about what the total is. So over $8,000. That's a lot of dimes. Oh, yeah. Yep.